Today, during this short clip, we're going to explore what is glycemic index and why it is important in relation to our blood glucose levels. What is glycemic index? The glycemic index, or GI, ranks foods based on how quickly they cause a rise in blood sugar or blood glucose levels after eating. Lower GI foods are digested more slowly, hence your blood sugars will rise gradually. GI is usually described as high, medium or low. So how do we use GI? The GI value of a food is calculated when a food is eaten on its own. We generally eat food in combination with other foods. It is therefore important to look at the GI of the whole meal or snack rather than the individual GI values. It's essential to assess GI within the context of a varied balanced diet. The total amount of carbohydrate eaten has the largest effect on our blood glucose levels. High GI foods do not need to be avoided, but consider eating smaller portions of these foods as well as the other foods they are eaten with. So mixing high GI foods with low GI foods such as fruit, vegetables and protein rich foods will lower the overall GI of the meal. Foods which are high in GI are not necessarily unhealthy foods and low GI foods are not always healthy options. For example, chocolate and ice cream have a low GI. Factors affecting glycemic index. Cooking and processing methods, which start the breakdown of the carbohydrate structure in foods. The ripeness of the fruit and certain vegetables, so the more ripe, the higher the GI the fruit becomes. Whole grains and high fibre foods act as a physical barrier to slow the absorption of carbohydrate. This is not the same as wholemeal, where even though the whole of the grain is included, it has been ground up instead of being left whole. So in some mixed grains that include whole grains, they have a lower GI than either wholemeal or white bread. Fat lowers the GI of a food. For example, chocolate has a low GI because of its fat content. Protein also lowers the GI of the food. The combination of foods with different GI values, adding one low GI food will lower the GI of the whole meal. The meal size, the, a larger amount of carbohydrate, will take longer to digest and will have greater impact on your blood glucose levels also referred to as glycemic load. Lower GI breakfast ideas. Breakfast cereals are a good way of providing a starchy carbohydrate. Some of low GI options include porridge or bran shredded wheat. Other options you could try when eating breakfast are adding fruit or using in combination with cereals which contain oats, such as porridge. Adding protein to breakfast can also help strike the higher blood glucose levels after breakfast. Ideas include yoghurt with granola, beans on toast, egg on toast or avocado on toast. There are many ideas that you can use to lower the GI of foods eaten at lunchtime. Some lunch ideas might include adding baked beans to jacket potatoes or if you're having soup why don't you try adding lentils or beans. Including a variety of breads can be really helpful to give some variety across the week in something like a packed lunchbox. Include salad or vegetables in your lunchbox, for example, carrots, cucumber, celery sticks. Lower GI ideas for main meals. Examples of low GI options include new potatoes or sweet potatoes. You could even try cutting into wedges and adding spices or herbs such as paprika to vary the taste across the week. You could try whole wheat pasta and rice, basmati, long grain or brown rice. Adding beans, lentils or pulses to casseroles or soups and making sure you have a vegetable or salad as part of your meal. After your meal, you might want to think about having fruit or yogurt as part of your dessert. Other snack ideas include fruits, vegetables, yogurt, popcorn or a glass of milk. Hopefully we've given you a few ideas today to choose foods lower in glycemic index. Remember lots of changes can add up to bigger changes. Why not start now by using the try, swap or change planner with your family? A couple of swap ideas might be to swap white bread for granary bread, to swap cereals such as cornflakes for porridge, to swap white pasta for whole wheat pasta. Hopefully today has given you lots of food for thought. If you would like more information following this clip, you can request an appointment to see a diabetes dietitian through the Milton Keynes Diabetes team.